yourself. I think I think just kind of learning something new about yourself every single time you step out there. Um, that's what keeps me coming back to it. Every single time, you know, I, I definitely expect great things from myself, um, but it seems like I overdo that. You know, I, I, I do more than even I sometimes expect whenever I step in that cage. It's a great environment to kind of push the limits on what you're capable of. My name is Caleb Killer K. Alger. I'm an MMA fighter, 22 years of age, out of Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, I fight for Cagezilla. Um, I have a record of 2-1 with two first round finishes, one KO and one submission. And I am fighting on February 24th for the Cagezilla Flyweight Championship. I'm returning down to 125. Uh, my last two fights, two wins, have been at 135. Uh, the champion is a little uh, clogged up at the top of the division, so we're dropping down to fight for the vacant title against John D. Fowler, who is a BJJ black belt, uh, has four fights versus my three. Um, he's the number three ranked at flyweight in the state. I'm the number two ranked at flyweight in the state. Um, he's never been finished. I've never been finished. Uh, I plan on being the first guy to stop him. It's going to be so much harder to fight. Very skilled. He's very, uh, <clears throat> he's a... Uh, Happy going, happy go type guy, but when it's time to like turn it on, he'll turn it on. So, you know, in my opinion, I think that one day he's going to be a UFC world champion, one of the greatest in the world. So, if he keeps going down this path, keeps uh, waking up every morning, grinding hard, <clears throat> I don't really know anybody that works harder than him, especially in this area over here. So, you know, if he keeps going, keeps doing what he got to do, he'll accomplish all his goals. Dig in, come on. Yes. So I, I've said it a lot. Uh, I, I make it a point to say it every single time I get on the mic. I will be in the UFC. Uh, I, I think very highly of my of my skills, and, and I take this very seriously. And um, this is this is the first championship. You know, uh, it is the first one, so it's very important right now. It's a big moment. Uh, but I'm chasing way bigger things. I'm chasing a UFC title, um, a UFC ranking. You know, I, I want to be one of the best in the world one day. And I truly do believe that I'm I'm coming into my own, and I've learned what I need to so far in the amateurs and now I'm just gonna I'm gonna show that off over this next four or five fights throughout this year and wrap it up and going to a pro next year. You know how, how it happens, what happens if he gets knocked out, injured. When you're done, it's like a brotherhood. You're like, yo, respect, you know what I mean? You got out here, you gave it your all. It's beautiful. The fans, everybody loves it, the coaches. It's like a community, no matter what happens, it's beautiful. That boy's a dog, yo. I met him, uh, I want to say a year ago, and he's just been, ever since I knew. First time I saw him spar, I knew he was going to be something special. He got that timing, he got that power, and he got that grind. Like, he's that dog in his hoop. He'll thug it out, do anything just to make his dream happen. It's, it's inspiring, honestly. It's awesome. I love it. For everybody that came out, bought a t-shirt, um, is coming to support that night, I thank you guys with all my heart, and I cannot wait to put on another showstopper performance for you guys. Oh, yeah.